Imagine getting a phone call from your child's daycare saying that your son was attacked. You get there and your son looks like that. What's going on? This is my life in the show. I'm your host, Donald Washington. I'm going to bring you guys a story out of Indiana, and this is horrific. Her ne- the mother's name is Tiffany Griffin. She's the one that's going to get a call saying, hey, we had an incident. Now, at least this daycare, at least they called the police right away. They called the parents right away. This is my life in the show. <laughs> So now, I'm going to bring you guys this story out of Indiana, and this is a few videos. This is going to be the video of her when she gets the first phone call to come pick up her son. But she's not convinced that this was just done by another two-year-old. Take a look. Y'all, I just come to Kitty Garden to get my baby, and this is how my baby looks. This is how my, this other baby got blood all on her. Blood all on her. He, what, he look like a dog that beating on him. This is my son. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. This, this, this is what happens at childcare. This is why I'm at the daycare. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep my composure because these kids here. This baby got blood all over her, but look at my baby. Look at my fucking baby. The police better hurry the fuck up before I light this bitch up. So I get these kids out of here and light this motherfucker bitch up. Go get your, back, your brother coat. I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, they, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, motherfuckers don't know me. I already told one motherfucker, daycare. I come to daycare, my one year old full of fucking blood. No, fuck that. Fuck that. And another baby full of blood. The fuck? No, police finna cut. I, before I tear this motherfucker up, she, she might want to leave. All my kids, motherfuckers, might want to put on your shoes, son, because you, you're not going to be here. This is not safe. Put on your shoes. Get your brother coat out of the baby room. Get this. I, I feel like an adult been beating on my fucking. Look at this. Tell me a kid did that? No, a kid didn't do that. Then the little girl, she got blood on her. I don't know what that's about. Now, she doesn't believe that it's just a, a child that did that. She feels that it's another adult that also hit her son. However, my thing is this. Cameras cost what, 50 cent? The oldest phones got cameras on them. Daycares all need to have cameras everywhere. If you ain't got nothing to hide, what are you, what are you worried about it for? What are you worried about it for? It needs to be cameras everywhere in daycare for your safety, my safety, the child's safety, for everybody's safety. So no accusations could come to you. Why wasn't nobody watching this little boy? Why wasn't nobody watching this little boy? For every child, the state mandates workers and helpers to be there to watch these children. So even if a two-year-old did do that, where was the daycare? I'm glad that mother was able to hold her composure. I'm going to bring you guys the story, but I first want to bring you guys the news story as well. Man, I lost for words. I'm upset. Tiffany Griffin and Jesse Harris III know their son as a 13-month-old boy full of smiles. Jesse IV wasn't smiling Monday when Tiffany found him swollen and cut. My son been crying. Damn. He hasn't had no sleep. And he's very uncomfortable. And hopefully we can get him comfortable and back to his good health and back to being the happy baby that he is. 
Tiffany says a worker at Kitty Garden Daycare called her around 2.30 saying Jesse's face was swollen. The mom says she rushed over and called for police and an ambulance. The daycare owner says a two-year-old girl caused the injuries. It shouldn't have happened whether it was a two-year-old. It shouldn't have happened if it was an adult. It shouldn't have happened if a two-year-old did it under the care of an adult. No one answered the door at Kitty Garden and the owner declined an on-camera interview. She said over the phone that a worker heard a commotion walked into the room and saw Jesse hurt. The owner says that worker called the parents, police, and daycare management. So it was negligence any way it goes. It was child abuse either way it goes. If it was me or him, we would be arrested. So I, I think it should be a, fully, a full investigation and they should do something about it. Kitty Garden's owner says she is cooperating with police. The daycare released a statement saying in part, we are deeply saddened by what took place and our hearts go out to Jesse and his family. Tiffany says her son Jesse is strong and she's praying for his recovery. That's all I could do, but be a great mother to him and make sure we support him, make sure he gets all the service and care for, you know, they need. So I'm also bring you guys what was said, um, some other issues that was that was talked about on Yahoo News, and one of the things they're saying, um, they're saying, however, it was inflicted by a two-year-old whom is small and didn't look like she could be the violent type. Um, Griffin uh, said the girl's mother cried and claimed baby wouldn't do anything like that when she was shown a photo of Jesse's face after news broke the incident Tuesday. Um, the, the owner um, of the daycare closed it. The daycare following harassing calls. She is unsure when it will reopen again. And yeah, likely so. You don't need to be open if you can't protect these kids. The, 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 the daycare safety is priority. My thing is why wasn't it cameras in the entrance where the kids are in the back entrance everywhere in there in daycares. But now you don't see... Cameras and daycares nowhere. That's bananas. That's bananas. Where cameras cost 50 cent. 50 cent. Um, so the daycare never had accusations of abuse or mistreatment in the past. This is the first one. Somebody said it's a truly sad and shocking event. Um, they're saying we're deeply sad, this, that, and the other daycare. Um has pride in not only quality of service of families, but provide a clean, self, healthy environment for the children and families. Out of Indiana. Somebody else said the same thing. Cameras? Question mark. Yeah. The state, the state should mandate that cameras should be everywhere. Wherever the children are, should be cameras. And nowadays, this camera's to where you can even look on your smartphone and just type in and watch. It's 2018. It's all kind of predators. It's all kind of molesters from children, the daycare workers. We even got a, the threat of uh, shooters, a mass shooters. And you mean to tell me that the state does not mandate cameras be everywhere? They 50 cent, you could go get one five dollars and just hang it up on the damn wall and make sure clear pictures and footage should be taken at all times in these daycares. That's unacceptable. I'm glad she held her composure. Um, I'm glad the father also held his composure and because that's easier said than done. That's easier said than done when you get a call and your child just been out the blue beaten like that and has to be hospitalized. I'm sure they probably got a lawsuit. Well, if not a, a future lawsuit pending um, on this particular daycare. That's unacceptable. Um, daycares, you have to watch these children at all costs. And obviously, if that child was beaten that bad, somebody left. And wasn't watching his children for quite some time. For quite some time for that much damage to happen. I don't see it being like any allergies. It looked like all battered bruises. And the little girl had blood all over her hand. Unreal. Unreal. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Um, but of course, if, if the child, the child was just two. 
She looked a pretty big for a two-year-old. She really did. Um, unfortunately, of course, she didn't know what was going on, what happened. It's not her fault. Daycare, like she say, is 100% liable. Whether the two-year-old did it, whether the grown folk, grown person did it, either way, the daycare is liable. You should have been watching her, should have been had a control of the situation. But I'm glad that the worker did call the police, call the family, call medical help right away. At the very least, that happened. That was, at the very least, any good out of the situation. The mother was able to hold her composure throughout this whole situation called the news she didn't flip out she didn't hurt nobody that's easier said than done because not everybody could have could have could have held their composure after something so neglectful happened anyway i want you guys to like comment let me know what you think about this video peace peace <laughs>